So we built this tabry a year ago and it was it was chopped it was chopped off to here and you can see this year it's um flowered and fruited from those from that plant. During the year also we've had two these two massive long runners have come out. So this is one right over down to there, over my pompon seat, and one the other side, all the way over there. So what I'm going to try, what I'm going to do, is chop this year's the, this year's fruiting bits right down to the ground, and then next year's fruiting bits, which are the ones that have come this year, I'm going to try and hook up onto my fence so that they're easy to pick next year. Oh, sorry, always forget to turn the camera around for the screen. Um, so I've cut down the two stems that um, flowered and fruited this year to just above ground level. And I've got the two green runners that are left and I am going to attach them somehow to the fence. But I don't know how to do that with a metal or string, um, you know, clips or something. I'm going to find a friend and I'll get back. So I found some um, U clips which I'm um, hammered in actually all the way along this line is where nails are already along my fence. So um, hopefully that behind there is a stronger bit of wood in my neighbour's garden. So I've hammered these in and then I found some green twine, garden twine, which uh, I've wound around uh, the vine, the runner. Uh, so they're now in place and basically the, we can replace the twine every year but the uh, metal work will stay in. Okay. It's quite a long vine when I found the end of it. And it's quite a small plant and then one going right along the other way as well. Fantastic. Can't wait for some. 